name's Martin. I'd like to talk to you about the piano. One of my favourite things about the piano is its versatility. It can be played as a solo instrument, it can be played with others, this is what we call making chamber music, and it can also be played in an orchestra with all of the other instrument families. Granted, it's not the easiest of instruments. You can't just put it in your bag and take it to Macclesfield Music Centre on a Saturday morning, but it is a very sociable instrument, and I really love it. Modern day pianos usually have a total of 88 keys, both white and black, in patterns. So quite a lot to choose from. To make a sound on the piano, we press the key, or a group of keys. And this in turn helps a hammer, through a mechanism of levers, hit the string inside. Yes, that's right folks, the piano is full of strings. Okay, so here we are inside the piano. The keys are in fact very, very long. They go all the way from here, inside this mechanism, and you press the key, it pushes the hammer against the strings. You see the low notes here, all the way to the high notes. When I push my pedal down, it releases what we call a damper away from the strings. And if we just touch the strings themselves, it sounds rather like a harp. And when I take my foot off the pedal, the sound stops. One of the other interesting facts about the piano is that even though it's filled with strings, it's not a member of the string family, it's actually a member of the percussion family, because we strike a key to make the sound. When I was younger, I was fascinated about the fact that the piano could play really, really big sounds. Take, for example, the beginning of Tchaikovsky's first piano concerto, big grand chords. Or maybe a bit of Chopin. older, I've been more fascinated with the fact that you can play really, really quietly on the piano. Something that is still amazing to say that it's an instrument that we strike, and it's all about the way that we strike it to make these different sounds. So we get this big range of dynamics. Dynamics are something we talk a lot about in music, and it gives us contrast. So take Debussy's Claire de Lune. Another French composer, Eric Satie. The piano as we know it now was invented around 1700 and had been used by many, many composers, many of which you'll have heard. And here's a few little excerpts of pieces of music that you will probably recognise. So from Bach. Mozart. To Beethoven. To 
Scott Joplin. I can certainly recommend the piano as an instrument to try. It's given me many, many years of joy and I hope it continues to do so. I hope this has given you a little bit of an insight into the instrument. Thank you for watching and see you soon.